Porsche is getting ready for the release of its upcoming 2024 Macan electric SUV. The company claims that the SUV is less than two years away from total production. A prototype of the EV was exhibited at an event in Italy. The EV, which has a nickname Ludmilla, is heavily camouflaged with gaffer tape hiding the details and fake exhaust tips on the rear bumper. The Macan Electric will be built on a new platform called PPE Premium Platform Electric, which Porsche says will offer better handling, extended range and more power. The new Macan Electric is set to be the electron-powered stable mate to existing gas-drinking Macan, which is off to make prospective Tesla Model I, Ford Mustang Mach-E, and Kia EV6 GT shoppers think twice about which premium performance SUV they decide to buy. What does the 2024 Porsche EV Macan offer? Since 2016, the Macan SUV has been Porsche's best-selling car, and the small luxury crossover is anticipated to be followed by an all-electric version for the 2024 model year. While it will carry the Macan brand, the 2024 EV will be built on a new electric platform that the future Audi A6 e-tron will also use. The engine of the Macan EV is currently unknown, but Porsche claims it will have substantially more range than the brand's electric sedan, the Taycan, which now has an EPA range of 227 miles. The Taycan's 800-volt electrical architecture should allow for quick charging. Trim levels for the Macan EV will most likely be similar to those for the gas Macan, with a more powerful S model and a range-topping GTS variant delivering the highest level of performance. The 2023 Macan EV will be sold alongside the gas-powered Macan for the time being. What is the price and availability of this new model? The Porsche Macan EV has been postponed so many times that we have lost track of it. It has now been confirmed that the car will not arrive until at least 2024. The automobile was actually intended to be unveiled in late 2022, in time for an early 2023 launch, but that is no longer the case. However, a Macan with a combustion engine is expected to be released around the same time. Pricing details have not been released yet, but we all know that the price is not going to be a low-cost EV. In comparison, the latest 2021 Porsche Taycan EV range starts at $79,990 in the United States and can go as high as $185,000 for the Taycan Turboist Cross Turismo. In the United Kingdom, this equates to £70,690 and 138,826 pounds. Does the design and features make it special? Like and subscribe to our channel as we introduce you to the seemingly best electric SUV to be ever made. We have only seen the prototypes of the Macan EV. The official photos show a car that resembles the existing Macan crossover. Things can change, but if you have an eye for the OG Macan, you should enjoy what the Macan EV offers. Despite its name, the Porsche Macan EV will be separate from the normal gas-powered Macan. Images of the EV prototype show that the headlamps are thinner and do not have a grille like a gas-powered automobile. Unlike an internal combustion engine, an electric engine does not require constant airflow. Images from testing also reveal a shorter roofline, implying that the Macan EV will resemble a coupe-like model rather than the existing Macan models. The back appears to have undergone some slight changes as well. Leaked spy images show that the car has eliminated the typical gear shifter, providing a smoother and less crowded central console. There is also a huge central infotainment display, a curved digital gauge cluster, a second touch screen for climate settings, and all standard features on the Macan EV. There appears to be a rotary dial which might be used to manage the touchscreen so that you don't mindlessly tap away at a shiny glossy screen to get things done. There are two sets of front lights, which appear to be divided in functioning with daytime lights and turn signals at the top. High beams and headlights appear to be emitted by a cluster located further down the front of the vehicle. The backlights remain hidden, although there looks to be a full-width LED cluster as seen on the bulk of recent Porsches. What is so different about the battery and charging capability of this model? Most automakers use different motor and battery configurations for different models, but Porsche takes a somewhat different approach. All PPE Porsches beginning with the new 2024 Macan Electric 
will sport new 100 kilowatt hours battery packs with 800 volt architecture. But why 100 kilowatt hours specifically? Porsche says that a battery pack this size is the best compromise between range and performance. The 800 volt quick charging capability, which is a technology that Porsche helped pioneer in the Taycan, will help to bridge any perceived range gaps. The 2024 Porsche Macan Electric's battery pack is capable of what Porsche calls bank charging. This technology allows the car to split its 800 volt battery pack into two 400 volt packs that can charge in parallel, which allows quicker charging. The new 100 kilowatt hours battery pack consists of 12 prismatic cell modules containing 8 to 1 to 1 ratio of nickel cobalt and manganese, which Porsche says helps it achieve a higher density than the J1 platform Taycan. It's safe to expect at least 300 miles on the stricter EPA range test for the 2024 Porsche Macan Electric. Another trick that PPE has up its sleeves is what Porsche calls its integrated power box. It will be mounted just below the rear seats of the electric Macan. The power box combines the onboard, a slash C charger, DC slash DIC converter, and high voltage heater in one compact package, which will thereby reduce weight complexity and costs. The Macan will be primarily an all-wheel drive, though the platform would allow rear drive versions. The rear wheels of the Macan will be able to assist steering with up to 5 degrees of movement below 80 km slash it. The success of Macan will be clearer only if more details come into light. Former Porsche Cars Australia head of public relations, Chris Jordan told in March 2022 that demand was already building for the Macan EV in the same way it does for a 911 before it's officially revealed. People are already coming into Porsche centers for Macan saying, I have seen the buzz online about the Macan EV, I know you can't tell me much more about it, but I want you to keep me informed when it's announced here are my details, he said. Dominic Kurtman says that we should all stop fretting about the battery size and the range of battery electric vehicles BVs. Instead, the Porsche engineer says to think in terms of travel time. He says that the key to viable long-distance travel in an EV is faster charging and route, not loading up on battery size that becomes an expensive, diminishing returns proposition of adding mass which in turn reduces range. The electric taken is a key element in Porsche's plan for 50% of its deliveries to be plug-in hybrid electric vehicles or BEVs as soon as 2025 and 80% BEVs by 2030. Hatman has also highlighted a new in-house developed power steering system that transmits through feel unfiltered to the driver all the important information such as the surface characteristics of the road and the grip capability of the tires, while disruptive vibrations and bumps are eliminated before they reach the steering wheel. Porsche does steering almost better than anybody out there, and that level of dedication to further improvement is a promising confirmation that as the company says, Porsche will always be Porsche. This goes for the performance of the future PPE models and their expected driving dynamics. What's the reason for the delay in the launch of the Macan SUV EV? The launch of the Macan EV was originally timed for 2023, but the midsize SUV successor, the highly successful Macan, will not be seen until 2024 at the earliest. In a statement to the press, Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom said, It is about five criteria distincted design, the Porsche typical performance, and our high aspiration for quality but also sporty traveling by quick charging and the driver experience play an important role. Living up to the aforementioned should put Porsche Macan in a really good place among its competition, which are namely the Audi e-tron Sportback and BMW iX. It will offer the dynamism of Porsche sports car performance in a utilitarian and hopefully range-friendly package. Porsche may be late to the EV party with its PPE, but as has been the history of this company, when it comes to engineering ingenuity, it surely brings some new ideas and new concepts to the expanding electric vehicle realm. Porsche is doing everything in its capacity to maintain the standards of its new version of EV cars, and it's doing it in a way so as to not compromise the integrity, engineering, and the pure driving pleasure of its vehicles. Looks like the new Macan SUV EV is going to raise the bar really high. So, what do you think about this new electric SUV? Do you think it will meet the standards of other premium EVs? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below.